Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I said it last week and I think I should start on that wise. There are churches and ministries that build the body of Christ, bless people, empower people, doing great jobs for the kingdom and we really honor God for that. But I, I submit to you that what you are experiencing, is not, experiencing this night is not, it's not just one of those religious activities. Whenever you come into a place, it's not just important for you to be positioned to receive a loan. You must study the operation of the spirit within that environment. Are we together now? You must ask questions. What is God's track record as far as his dealings with these people is concerned? For instance, if you brought somebody with cancer or someone with HIV, it's not just enough to blindly come and say you came to meet a man of God. Is there a track record of God's faithfulness in that respect? Are we together now? While we do not limit God to the experiences of yesterday, He can open us up to new things we've never seen. But there must be a testament that our faith can hinge upon. Brothers and sisters, this place is a place of encounter. I've told us again and again. This is the mountain of the Lord's house. I only pray that one day God will open our eyes to see the profound angelic activities that happen here. There are more angels in this place than a thousand of us put together. They respond to his word. Pastor Alpha shared something that blessed me so much profoundly. It's not just taking actions. It's a response to the word of the Lord. That's what brings the miracles. You can do what you know to do every day. But were you doing it at his word? That's what produces the miracles. Hallelujah. There are so many people who have traveled from far end to end of this nation. Whole families around. People enduring the cold inside and outside. Do you think God is so stupid to gather people and just come and waste their time? I made a vow unto God that I will never waste the time of God's people. That's why when you come in from the beginning of the prayers, you see that we are very, very serious. Because there are people whose medical reports here is a matter of life and death. That's why I told you, people may just keep quiet and be watching and you think they are alright. Until you see the reports they brought. There are things money cannot do. There are things sympathy cannot do. People need the power of God. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Believe me, without the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we are noisemakers. We can talk and tell you God will do this and raise your expectations and disappoint you. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over, I want to run over, 
Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I sang that song because that's someone's desire in this place. There are people who did not just come for miracles. There are people who are tired of where they are spiritually. Maybe presidents or fellowships, pastors in different churches who are coming to say, Lord, I can't fake it. You know, let me tell you something about your spiritual journey. For a long time, you can pretend what you are not, but it will eventually show. A man can pretend he's anointed. You can pray, pretend you're a man of prayer. You can pretend you have intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Time is a revealer of truth. Are we together now? I'm sure there are people who have come before the throne. You've left your church. You've left your fellowship. I told you that this place is a place of renewal and restoration. There must be a prophetic platform like this in every city where even the great can come and drink from. It's a tragedy when as a leader you do not have any source of spiritual supply that strengthens you yourself. Are we together now? There are pastors and leaders here, family people who have been strained from the, the, the reality of their activities. But you need a place where you can draw strength and get renewal. That's why I sang that song. There are people here tonight who have been under bondages. Bondages. I've said it again and I will say it unapologetically. Anyone that tells you to ignore the reality of bondages upon the life of people has deceived you. Are we together? When God opens your eyes, brothers and sisters, and you see the degree and the dimension of bondage that are upon people, I want you to make no mistakes. You see the thousands of people gathered here? They are not just gathered to stare at a man. People are coming to ask questions and say, Lord, is this how we will continue? There are families, you know, and we pastors have very interesting way of forcing people to lie. We just look at people and say, um, what's wrong with you? And they say, oh, we're okay. Say, I hope you're okay. Say, yes. Uh, but, but there's a little problem. Say, forget about that. Just say you are okay. Look, faith is not foolishness. The end of faith is a manifestation. Are we together? There are people seated here who are, you love God, you are born again. But there are all kinds of oppressions that need the hand of God. This is why God anoints people and places and makes them centers for liberation. Where you can step in with your burden and say, Lord, what, what, what is the issue? What is the issue with my life? inexplainable delays inexplainable setbacks mysterious things around our lives that we cannot explain i pray that god will give someone an answer tonight there are people who are at the verge of making mistakes making decisions that can cause them circles of pain and god has brought them so that they will hear the word of the lord that will give them direction there are pastors, there are ministries who are about to make costly mistakes. And this is where the word of the Lord comes to you. There are people here who have zeal, but there is no grace. They have the passion to win souls. They have the passion to see lives changed. But it takes more than passion. There is an empowerment from the spirit that must come upon your life. May you find it tonight in the name of jesus there are people who need restoration please hear me the brother who was sharing right started his educational pursuit 2006 and this is 2016 10 years ordinarily speaking you know that that person has lagged behind drastically my goodness but there is a mystery in the spirit that listen there is a difference between restoration and progress when the limitation holding you is lifted, that's, you just continue moving from where you are, but you will never catch up. Restoration is where God picks you. You don't move. He picks you and drops you where you would have been 
So if a woman is supposed to have had three children and for whatever reason she's been delayed and God gives her triplets, that's not a breakthrough, that's a restoration. Are we together now? But you must discern where you are. Jacob said the Lord was in this place. And I knew him not. This is not a cinema hall. You don't watch film here. Are we together now? Even those outside, I know that you are focusing on the projectors, but I want you to know that the anointing of the Spirit can change your life. Brothers and sisters, I told us last week, for those who were here, that human beings have prophetic implications and atmospheres. You can come into everybody flows with the spiritual reality that is dealing with God provides. Are we together now? When you come under the influence of certain graces, possibilities that would not have happened in your life suddenly can happen because you are under an influence. You can tap into a man's fellowship with God and receive results from it. Are we together? So don't let the devil tell you, I prayed and fasted. We fasted as a family. And so you come and say, well, let's come and see what God will do. Be careful. You don't know the encounters that are producing this meeting. You must come to God believing. Don't come and say, agree with me. No. God, God is not trying to agree with you. He wants to give you results. He wants to change your life. There is no sickness in this place that cannot be healed. Believe me. You cannot take that pain and go back with it. No, even if it is just one side of your head, insist it leaves. Anything you tolerate will never leave you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't say mine is just headache. At least I'm grateful I've not gone to the hospital. Is it necessary? Mine is just that my hair used to fall. Mine is just that I have bad luck. Wait till you see how far that bad luck can go. While I was preparing for this meeting, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, please visit everyone to the minutest of the needs. I told you the greatest way of convincing you is to give you a personal testimony. Not just your neighbor's testimony, a personal testimony. That you can say, I traveled from Ibadan to this place and I left back with an anointing. A strange grace. I went back to my church and I cannot even explain what is happening. One song of worship and the sick are getting healed. Sinners running by themselves. I went back to my shop with an anointing and it's like they charmed the customers. What in the world is happening? I went back to my place of work and even those who used to walk against me now are mysteriously favoring me. Brothers and sisters, the greatest weapon of publicity to any church is results. Undeniable results. It will do what posters cannot do. It will do what handbills cannot do. Jesus gathered us here tonight so that he will give us testimonies. Jesus gathered us, including you, so that you will have something to hold on to personally please insist it must be personal we are not talking corporate breakthrough now right that lord i came with a hunger i came with a desperation in case you were invited and you just came carelessly i'm giving you reasons to rethink and have an expectation believe god believe god to step in and change your situation it's called a miracle service it's not a suggestion service it's not a counseling service a miracle is a supernatural intervention of god in a man's life to produce results that would otherwise not have been produced you hear the testimonies of people here you must insist that it must be yours today there are many demon spirits that stand in the way and the destinies of people. Please listen to me. There are families seated here. You think some of you came to report your stubborn sons or stubborn daughters or husband or wife 
but you do not know that masquerading through all those myriads of problems are the presence of demonic influences that rejoice over the downfall of families they have no respect for intellect you can be whatever you are they have no respect for age and gender a woman brought a, 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 a one of her young boys i think some years ago and um, she brought the boy this boy steals but the issue is not the stealing is how he steals no matter what you hide no matter where it is you know how word of knowledge works that's how yes a little boy he must just move by that spirit and he will know where it is and pick it up and go and so they tried flogging him they did all kinds of things applied all kinds of skills he was obvious he wasn't working and when I looked at that boy, I knew that this boy was a very good boy. But a spirit made him otherwise. Just like somebody is about to throw away his wife and say she's a stupid woman. She's not. I know many prophets told you she's a witch. She's not. It's not easy to be a witch. There is just an influence that needs to live. Are we together? The condition to be a witch is the negative side of the same condition to be a very anointed man of God. It's not easy in any way. You don't carelessly become a witch. No, sir. There are stringent conditions that subject your spirit to a level of alignment. There are many of us here from anger problems. Are we together? Even the issues of marriage. There are ladies, you are beautiful, you are nice. A guy comes to you, the moment he says, I think you are fine. It's like a charm on his head. And off he goes. They can even go as far as meeting your parents. Create an emotional excitement and then they end up disgracing your parents. After they've gathered everybody, the guy says, I'm not doing it again. You think it's because of the cloth you are wearing. You now change. It's, no, 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 no. There is an influence producing that. How about students that go into the exam hall, no matter what you read, you get into the exam hall and you hear people say, I, I conduct tutorial for others, but I get into the class and I blank out. When you come out, you know the answers. Do you need it when you are out? Are we together? You are selling something in a shop. People come and pass you and can go so far to buy the same thing. Listen. The realm of the spirit controls this realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The realm of the spirit controls this realm. There are families, it's like an impartation. You know what we call bad luck? Bad luck, it can work for anybody till it gets to your turn. Circles of defeat and failure. It's not normal. I'm showing you reasons why your heart must be open. There are women who are godly, they love God, wonderful women. But as, as soon as your husband comes, and it will always happen when you are praying and getting serious with God, that man suddenly becomes a very strange man, insulting you and beating you all around. You think he's just a man, but he's a slave to an influence. Are we together now? God must step in tonight and do a miracle. God must step in tonight and do a miracle i really am trusting god for healings look god will touch us in different areas but specifically this pain must go away these sicknesses do you know what it means to live with a medical report that you know your life is at stake for instance hiv or cancer imagine living knowing that they say you have hepatitis b or whatever it is you smile around. Imagine what it means for your genotype to be SS. When a gentleman comes and he says, I want to marry you. you. You love him, but you are afraid of his reaction when he knows there is that problem. Imagine that the doctors told you something is wrong with your womb. Or you do not have a womb. And a brother comes to meet you and says, I saw a vision you are my wife. You almost want to say, my brother, look, I'm not denying that I'm your wife, but I'm not sure you are ready for me. These things mock Jesus. Are you together? They are a mockery on the teaching of Jesus as love. Don't forget that the Bible says God is love. It says if you be evil, know how to give what? Good gifts. If you be evil, 
there are armed robbers as wicked as they are they have wives meaning they have conscience enough to take care of a woman they have children they steal and pay school fees meaning at least they know their children should be educated yet they are armed robbers if you have been evil know how to give good gifts if you have been evil if the father sent Jesus as a demonstration of his love what is it that he cannot do? I've been holding on to God, believing that he's able. That revelation of God being able is important that you settle in your heart. Because I know that talk is cheap. Many of you, as you hear me, you say, well, yeah, Joshua Selman, I know. You are, you are talking like this because you don't have my sickness. My own, they said my, my spine has twisted. In fact, I don't even know. On my own, I'm not sick, but this man that keeps appearing to me, every time an opportunity is about to come, there he comes, he shows up again. Strange man. Sleeps with you or does whatever, and you get up into a circle of disfavor. You met a man of God, and he says, you should assume he's not there. He's there. Are we together? He's there and must be, and must be dealt with. Disfavor anything that is outside the provision of the word of God you must fight it tonight and insist that it will leave you we were never designed to serve God under pain and stress so doing that is, a, is an extra demonstration of our love to God but it's not our default way of serving him you must insist he's given us a word that this is our year of multiplied grace do you believe it do you believe it this is a season for you to break out to the left and to the right. But do you believe it? I'm saying this to us. This is a charge, really. To encourage us. So that we are not casual. As we begin to minister, you are not just casual. I came with my heart full of expectation. With us right now are the list of our loved ones and friends that we are trusting God to save. The question is, do you believe he can save them? Because when you look at them and see how much they are in sin or in the world, you are wondering, how is God going to, will he appear to them? It's none of your business. Just know that God is mighty. There are people who have come here, you were once a Christian, you were serious with God, but for whatever reason you found yourself backsliding, it's even a miracle that you are here. Don't be discouraged. There is always a place for you to rise back. hallelujah so tonight koinonia let your heart be open i'll do my best to see how that we can work with the time but i i trust that god will grant us grace to do a thorough job let's see how god will grant us grace maybe i will be able to move at least to a bit of the people outside wherever we can stop but god must visit us whether i call you out by prophecy or not that's not the issue. Calling somebody out by prophecy is not, a, is not necessarily a sign that the person has received. I can call you out by prophecy and tell you everything and you can go back and sit down laughing, believing that because I called you, you have received. It takes faith. God is not a magician. Are you together now? It's not even about falling down and standing up. I remember a lady who said, why is it that God, I will, lie, I will never fall. What is all this? As if it's supposed to be, I mean, people fall down. Sometimes I'm even afraid. I'm saying, oh God, let them not enjoy themselves. And the lady said, God, at least let me just know. You, you can't be passing me like this. <laughs> I bring in visitors. They're under the anointing. I'm just watching. No. You must believe. It's the word of God that changes you. I may not be able to walk up to everybody. But I want you to know that this atmosphere carries like, like current. It's an anointing. It will meet you where you are. Believe me. Believe me to meet you where you are. Hallelujah. It will meet you where you are. Expect change. If you visit a herbalist, even if you enter the shrine and say, sorry, it's a mistake, your life will never be the same. That you enter the shrine and just say, no, no, I didn't, I intended to pass around, but I just found out it's a shrine. That you step there, the man will just smile. You will see him in your dreams. You will see him all around. You say nobody just walks like that and goes back. How much more the presence of God? 
you are breathing you think you are breathing air no 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 you are not this is not the same thing you were breathing in your room you are breathing a reality that is doing something to you believe this believe this believe this my god i ask that you visit your people in a mighty way tonight visit your people please everyone under the sound of my voice i like your heart to be open don't sit down even if you are not a christian just make, know that we are not playing games here praise the lord and open up your heart who told you god cannot step into your life and change that situation if you allow it believe me it's because you want it whatever does not look like god in your life this night you must contend with it are we together mothers you are going to stand not just for yourself but for your family father stand for your family this night is not a night to just do things for yourself if you are blessed and your family members are suffering they will destroy you are you hearing what i'm saying yeah. god has brought us here this is our first miracle service for the year and he's brought us i, I say this particularly to those who are visiting for the first time I know you came with so much expectation. I was told that as at 3.30 or thereabout, almost half of the auditorium or, 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 or maybe three or four or so, there are people who have been here since maybe two, three, four. You can't stay so long and be playing games like that. There are people who came, there are no seats. There are people around the fence sitting in the gutter just finding anywhere to make contact. Brothers and sisters, God is not a mocker. God is not a wicked person. He's not an idol. It's not an idol. He that cometh unto God must believe. You must believe that that sickness will leave. You must believe that that infirmity. Let me see how many of us are trusting God for. You brought someone who is sick. You are trusting God for healing for yourself. Let me see your hand. Inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Honestly. You, you came trusting God for healing. See, let me tell you. Healing is a very easy thing. Very easy thing. Healing does not just depend on God alone. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no time to begin to talk to you about all of this, but let me show you something. Come, Pastor Femi. Watch this. If Pastor Femi has Qatar, everybody look up. If Pastor Femi has Qatar, did he and I stay close to him, what happens to me? What happens to me? most likely i'll contact that qatar did he pray that i will get it did i choose to receive it but it happened to me are we too if a man can impact sickness why can't i release health are you following what i'm saying no listen listen when it comes to healing we just say it's just god alone but when this guy was sick i he came with his sickness there are even certain diseases they say don't come close to the person because he has the ability to transfer it to you his presence implicates you are we together now so why can't a man take the reality of the life of god within him and communicate it to you but you don't believe it you see because we are already conditioned the Bible says, listen, before you ever receive anything, you must believe in God and also believe in the vessel that is using. When you hear that somebody has a particular kind of sickness, especially a communicable one, please help if it's under the anointing yourself. Are we together now? Listen, brothers and sisters, these are not ordinary hands. You see, watch this. You, you, I know you are looking at a physical body. But this is only an expression. You never say, I am eyes. You say, I have an eye. Who? The you. Your spirit possesses a quality. You don't see with your eyes. You see through it. Right? The Bible says the first Adam. Listen. Listen. The first Adam was a living soul. He said the second Adam has been made a life-giving spirit. In other words, the first Adam could not transfer his contents to another although he was enjoying it but now the second adam is not just a spirit a life-giving one a dispenser you can dispense your spiritual reality to someone else you can literally like lighting a candle 
fetch from the abundance of the investment of the spirit upon your spirit and release it upon a people that means just like if we if we announce that this guy has Lassa fever many of you are going to get up and say ah, Lassa fever he, the Lassa fever may not ask you whether you have the ability to believe it just by making contact whether it is through air it is through water are we together but what of the anointing of the spirit is it so bound that it cannot reach you is it so bound that it cannot touch you what of the life of god what of the wisdom of god i want you to expect if you have this revelation then the man of god does not need to come close to you that you are sitting there are virtues of wisdom there are virtues of power there are virtues of grace there are impartations all kinds of things happening if you sit under the atmosphere conscious of it you will receive it but if you sit down wondering and say wow great things are happening it doesn't happen that way there is no man of god that is ordinary there is no true man of god that god has anointed you may just look at this as ordinary hands biology tells you these are just ordinary hands but it's more than this there is a mystery surrounding it you hear the words that i speak the same way you cannot see the sound but you cannot deny its effect you are hearing it are we together i'm not just speaking from my vocal cords i'm speaking from my spirit man so together with that sound it, there is an anointing that is living and entering into you when it's time to pray some of you will stand up and find out all of a sudden i've been healed my goodness where is this growth it has disappeared if a man's leg starts swelling we never ask where the body found the added flesh to make it swell but when it shrinks we say where did the flesh go to are we together if someone like me now has my leg two times the size nobody will say but where did the body get the extra flesh to add to it but if it disappears and comes back people say ah, ah, where did it go to condition your mind to believe god condition your mind to believe god is able are we together now bless you and you see let me encourage pastors especially when you come here don't just watch and be happy i'd like you to not just look but see because in seeing there are things you receive don't sit down carelessly and just say wow guy, this guy is anointed no that's not the goal the goal is that it is and it's not just to inspire you it's not inspiration there is an impartation a transference of spiritual quality hallelujah praise the lord you've got to be tired you've got to insist that god will step in there are impossible situations in this place and i admit that some of them are humanly impossible there is no way but don't don't play with god once you bring god into the equation step back you'll be foolish to bring god and still be wondering will he do it the bible says they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god can god make a table in the wilderness oh yes he can hallelujah are you ready for what god will do in your life tonight are you ready to insist that the word of god must find expression please let me tell you if you don't believe in what we're saying don't waste your time just go home so that you don't sit down in this cold and waste your time and after koinonia they ask you what did you receive you just smile and say kai ayafi babu no no because you see there are people some of you coming here alone has attracted a lot of mockery they say why come and sit down there a man of god can't you pray in your room and god will hear you is it not the same god we are worshiping ah yeah 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 nothing can be farther from the truth that it looks spiritual but it's an error are we together the next time anybody tells you that tell them human beings have prophetic implications human beings have prophetic implications lift your voice and pray in one minute say lord jesus lift my faith tonight i have faith in you i've tried medications i've tried human connections i've tried everything i know to do but i come before you the god of all flesh 
the one who can change my situation. Lift your voice and make sure you are praying. Shkabarato sadabariada baladabash. Give me a visitation tonight, oh God. I refuse to be a spectator. You can change my story. Make sure you are praying. Lord, every spirit go to the root of my problem, so oh God. That every force of darkness that is responsible for the situations in my life, it must be addressed tonight. It must be addressed tonight. That spirit that has tied my family down, tied my destiny down, tied my womb down. Those outside, make sure you're praying. No matter how far you are, the Lord is seeing your faith. You are enduring the cold because you want your destiny to change. You will not be disappointed tonight. Pray to the God that answers all flesh. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Though you are higher than any other. Awesome in power, our God, our God. Sing it to Him. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, You are higher than any other. Our God is greater, awesome in power. hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision I'm seeing I'm seeing a vision I'm seeing a vision and in this vision I'm seeing chains this is what I'm seeing before I even start the mass prayer I'm seeing chains and those people are affected the power of God is going to begin to come upon them inside and outside. I'm seeing chains. This is the spirit of delay. I'm seeing delay written in the atmosphere. Delay. Delay. I'm going to begin to pray. Listen, there are people whose lives and destinies have been held bound by the spirit of delay. By the spirit of delay. No matter where you are, inside or outside, it's like a force, an energy of the spirit. I want to help those people outside here. 
Lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted inside and outside. Just lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you. And as I stretch my hands towards you and begin to speak, it's like fire. The power of God will begin to come upon such people. Those who are outside, you can stretch your hands just over your, your various projectors. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that spirit, I speak to you in the realm of the spirit. You have held the destinies of men and women. You have held the destinies of families. But the Bible says upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob will possess their possession therefore I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus and I speak every spirit of delay right now right now right now I stretch my hands by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I stretch it right now bring them out Say, yeah, of multiplied grace. I stretch my hand. The angel of the, of the Lord are moving row to row, row to row, row to row. It will get to your turn inside and outside, row to row. If that's not your situation, it will not affect you. But you will never stand the power of God if this is one of the reasons God brought you here. Right now, I stretch my hand outside lift your hands the angels of the lord are moving lord every row every row i keep my hands stretched that devil of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave the second overflow god is touching people here the second overflow like fire is coming upon people the second overflow that spirit of delay your time is up tonight your time is up tonight there's a lady wearing white hair tie the anointing of the spirit is causing that delay that delay right now that delay right now right now right now right now is a spell it's like a charm i'm seeing it on the heads of people i command that spell that charm of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave I tell you no spirit will stand the power of God tonight no you must let them go in the name of the Lord Jesus I come against you I come against you I come against you. Delay is a dangerous thing. It traps your life so that when you ought to move and make significant progress, it will hold you bound. There are many lives and destinies that are tied down families please lift your hands the Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families pay attention to what I'm saying because the power of God will move in a mighty way there are families here hear me you love God, but you do not know what 
is at the root of the tragedies of the families there are spirits there are covenants there are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound it may not even be your fault you are inheriting the wickedness of men but tonight lift your hands i want to pray for you 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 as i speak over your life again the lord is going to be ministering to families it may not have anything to do with you as a person some of you you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on father in the name of jesus i'm praying right now inside the first overflow the second overflow across the road every family that is under the influence of any satanic manipulation lord you will not only identify them they must be free at the count of three i want you to shout i am free are you ready now one two three shake it take it take it shake it take it take it all tasks all tasks all tasks all tasks i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven i call you by your name altars in benway state altars in koki state altars in kaduna state altars in the west altars in the east my goodness shekete koto kete rekete tekete rekete kota every local government every state I set fire on those altars. Fire, 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 fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. Every covenant with the waters, every covenant with the air, every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee i send the word of judgment i send the word of judgment hallelujah I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening mighty things that are happening hallelujah listen something very strange will start happening here now listen listen to me because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys it just dropped on the ground listen this, this is a sign of access in the spirit. The Lord showed me a vision and I saw in the spirit a bunch of keys. Now it's not for everybody, but I'm about to pray. Once it comes on you, except God did not call me, you will see doors open. It's called breakthrough. Lift your hands. I stand under this apostolic anointing. And in the name of Jesus, every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three receive it receive it take it now 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 i distribute those keys in the spirit i distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant breakthroughs 
breakthroughs breakthroughs the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies Sheka bakata la batosh Sheke te katababa Kaparato shokotosh Emprekete le kotoshata Listen Those of you outside I want you to hear me Because the Holy Spirit is going to do something now The Lord asked me to come out Hallelujah Hallelujah Now I want down three My goodness there is such anointing in this place and i see the angels the lord the moment you count three i'm going to start moving across this crowd and the power of god will start falling on people whatever has locked your destiny it must open it right now are you ready now those outside please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now. right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your row as i pass your row you will stand it as i pass your row an anointing an anointing take it 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 now. I stretch my hand. Take it. Take it. This side, receive it. Take it now. 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 I stretch my hands. Take it now. Take it now. Everyone in this row, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Take it now. All those here, there is an angel of the Lord standing on your robe take it now take it now take it now take it now just allow me pass your robe as i'm coming there are angels walking with me as i'm coming the power of god will touch you right now i stretch my hands here everyone here right now take it now take it right now take it right now in the name of jesus I stretch my hands to you call this man come this big man come what's your name come now let's hurry up what's your name the Lord is saying what's your name Daniel Daniel from where from Edo State sir. from Edo State I mean are you in Zaria you are in Zaria I want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night are you hearing what I'm saying as you celebrate them you connect to their prophecy listen because i'm seeing you in a cage this is what i see i've not started prophesying yet but i'm seeing you in a cage and i'm seeing you telling the lord i know that if i come here my situation will change in the name that is above all names i lay my hands upon you and i end that captivity right now take it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ who is grace there's someone grace around here who is grace i'm hearing that the lord is showing me someone grace who is grace please come quickly let's save time come where is your mother zango, zango. is she sick? My sister is sick don't worry is your mother sick she doesn't even know she's sick but she's sick i'm seeing an angel of the lord going to your house and healing two people your mother and your sister are you hearing what i'm saying your mother and your sister what do you do you're a student what do you do ah huh? applicant job applicant do you believe that if i pray for you the lord will give you a job will you come and testify before god's people i lay my hands upon you and i release that job for you in the name of the lord jesus christ from this road down like this there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain because i'm seeing like the angel of the lord is doing something 
I stretch my hands right now. Whoever they are, the power of God is coming upon them right now. Right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that pain, that abdominal pain must go. It must go right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me try to walk to the first overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. You will start experiencing the power of God in your life in a very strange way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I lay my hands upon you right now. Step into a new season. I want to pray for this overflow. There are so many people. Please believe God. Don't think I've come outside because I want to identify with you. So you don't think you are at a disadvantage. No. Distance is no barrier. Some of you are enduring cold. It's touching my heart. Talk more of the heart of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come. So just watch it. You are just receiving miracles. There is an impartation. Joseph. Who is Joseph? Here. Yeah. Joseph. I'm hearing a name, Joseph. You are wearing like a collar, like for cold. Who is that? You are Joseph. The Lord is going to do mighty things through you. Stand up. There's cold so you don't enjoy yourself. Are you hearing me? I want to stay through with God and watch God do great things in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing two old women. They are sitting on the same seat. Where are they? Here, this row. Two mama like this. Where are they? Is there some... Who is that? The Lord is asking me to talk to them. Just leave them. Mama, do I know you? Have we seen before? I'm looking at you. Can, can they... If they cannot hear, we can speak any language. Can I talk to you, mama? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. When I'm don't be afraid. I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. And the Lord is saying, if we don't pray for you, that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car. It's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing. But the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. The second thing is there's no finances at all. Everything flat. Is that true? Is that true in your life? Is what why you came? Where is your daughter? Do you have a daughter? Huh? I'm seeing a lady close to you, like a, a I don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not, because I'm seeing the Lord is saying that He wants to bless her with marriage. You are the one, okay? You are the one standing close to her. Are you ready to marry? Because God is going to surprise you. Do you believe that? Huh? Say I receive. I receive. I receive. You are not. You are. You are trying to, uh, first lady, but my dear, prophecy. You. See? A madman like this i'm only responding to god just out and see what the anointing does shout i receive as loud as i receive jesus christ i take that curse over your head mama you will not die all of you here stretch your hands to her and say mama will not die take us your mother pray for her mama will not die in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah I'm looking at this other mama. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. But there are three things I see the devil want to do. Number one, eyes. Huh? But two, I'm seeing her inside a coffin. They have already closed it. And there's blood on top of the coffin. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody use her eyes to make money with it. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm not a prophet of doom. Me too like what I'm saying but I cannot but say what God is asking me to say are you hearing me? I'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we are trying to work with the time um, but I'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of God is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family and the Lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of God is going to come on one lady right now. It will be like fire. You can't stand it. It will come upon you. Please, when that happens, let me know that lady right now. Not just those inside. I know God is inside, but this row, this row, Father, wherever that lady is, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Spirit of God that she will be located so that her can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy. 
that's if you translate your name it has something to do with joy joy or joyful or something like that do we have someone like that please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting if, if you are that cop with the protocol who is that what huh? come what's your name means what child of joy i want to pray for you where is your mother she's in kaduna is this working okay tell your mother her time lay hands on you and i want that if you go back and see your mom just ask her to allow you to break through my hands upon you right now I don't mean their English names are Joy. What's, what's your name? From where? All of you, your names are Joy. Okay, I'm going to name you. Let me talk to you. Come, my dear. Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you. Because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that he's lifting them up by his grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her please. Help her so that she Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. For you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Who is that? What's your name? Favor. But there's nothing favorable in your life. And the Lord is saying, change her story. Do I know you? That your name is Favor? I want to pray for you. Do you believe if I pray for you, the Lord will grant you favor? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I restore favor to you right now. I restore favor to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Come, my dear. This lady, yes, come. Hallelujah. There is an anointing. Listen. There is an anointing. Um, I promise those of you outside, by the grace of God, hopefully by next miracle service, We'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will it will be very clear for you outside all right i know that the people did their best but you can see that the crowds are increasing praise the lord but there was an anointing that was upon esther it's called the favor anointing in the course of the meeting i'm going to be praying for people but the lord is saying i should minister this to you do you believe it huh father in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon this lady and i release this grace upon her in the name of Jesus I release this anointing upon her in the name of Jesus I release this anointing upon her in the name of Jesus who came from Kano I'm seeing Kano come you are not alone you are with one lady where are you ah huh? two of you husband and wife come did you tell me you are coming come she's your friend who is she how are you my dear you came from Kano what do you do? I'm see. I, I'm, no, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. I'm teaching. You are teaching. How about her? Witchcraft is what God is breaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend. I command that chain to leave right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I declare, 
you will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God. That's what you need. You have been praying, boom, fasted, help him. You fasted that God will give you an anointing. It's not an anointing for ministry, it's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I passed you, I saw, I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then number three is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you huh you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of Jesus Christ all of you here please lift your hands I want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as I pray for you and I count three I want you to shout the name Jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name Jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow i wanted to leave but god is still speaking to me about this overflow please i want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father i'm doing as you have instructed me and i prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of jesus let the power of god visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of jesus right now help them right now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit 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 from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as i pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams i command him go 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of jesus the lady with the black hat Tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ before i leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is wiping your tears 
the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. Let it end right now. Let it end now. Now. Never to return to you again. Never to return. I stretch my hands all over this room. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Every force of darkness never returns. In the name of Jesus, there is a spirit I'm dealing with. I know what I'm seeing right now. Right now. I judge you by the God of heaven. Right now. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands a chain is breaking right now I stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost now I break that chain in the name of Jesus I break that chain in the name of Jesus I break that chain in the name of Jesus I restore your glory I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please pray and ask the Lord to visit you pray and ask the Lord to visit you aha Ahai, you must go in the name of Jesus. You must go, 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 go. Any spirit represented here, you must leave right now. I tell you, any force of darkness tying down your life. Who is this, Mama? Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wake up. As I enter here. I hear my pain just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you in, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finished university here and this prayer I'm a widow. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I have a ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. The spring. The spring. In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even up it's none of our business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. 
this boy is not your you are calling him son but he's not your son because i'm looking at him and i'm not seeing a father where's your father he's dead sir. father is dead and this is what the lord i'm looking at him and i'm not seeing father it's like the father is related to you he's my elder and so you took him as your son that's why you are calling him son but this boy is not your son in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is going to use you are you hearing what i'm saying the lord is going to use you mightily huh mommy you god is wiping your tears because this finance the thing can't just enter your hand it will enter and go out and we have to pray because the people that killed his father want to destroy you and we have to pray i'm not i don't want you to feel bad are you hearing what i'm saying it's gone and but we are not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama and it's because of the destiny of this person are you hearing what i'm saying the lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you what's wrong with him you see ba what the lord is showing me i'm not going to say everything here but what the lord is showing me today they will see that he has one sickness they will do another test huh? they will do a scan and come out with something else the devil is just playing using medicine to play with your mind this is witchcraft they have already buried this person and this issue has finished but in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm declaring and i'm speaking to everyone here i stand under the anointing and i pray for you that every power that is tying down your family it must leave you this night in the name of jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the Lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level. Two areas. The issue of barrenness. The issue of barrenness. It will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will come back and testify before the people of God. This thing is being recorded. And the second area. The second area is HIV. Such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead jesus. father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit 
in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of Jesus Christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what I'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but I tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on go when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him God will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of God the Lord told me he's wiping your tears come sir what do you do what do you do what did you study I'm going to pray for you you want to further Yes, sir. Political science. Sir. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal college, college of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then his leadership and God is taking you to that position when you study it, he will make you a great leader Amen. are you getting what I'm saying Amen. wait Mr. Man, just wait let me finish I'm praying for you, make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman are you hearing what I'm saying you never forget this woman she has done what for you many people will not do she has taken you as a son, she has spent her money to the last to help you, is that true if you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, he will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you in the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one. Yes. This, she's, she's not feeling fine. Something is wrong with her. Please let her come. Is God blessing you tonight? Who brought her? Please, who brought her? If you brought her, please come with her so that we we'll know what it is. There's no mind. What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Or oh, you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? You got her pastor Alpha now. Carry Mike. What are you here? Oh yeah, yeah, carry Mike. 
because i'm trying to let's make this easy give him mic please every tribe here there must be somebody if there's nobody who lay hands on somebody for the purpose there's no other mic okay don't worry come pastor tell her that jesus christ is going to visit her jesus at your guy ask her question don't know tell her god all joy of the God the habit is square and the dream of death that shall be happy. Or now who can nale? And God is going to heal out. All joy na di or nale ku kule ya kwe. A quick bow guy to the boy. Does she know what's going on? Eche men ki ache. Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Then when man get you put in, then get you call on. Mama, ask. Tell her I'm going to pray for her, and the power of God will come. Yana chadwe, pa yo jo awoji, papa. And me and her will run here now. Onku yana rule me, papa. I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. If we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who dot down diabetes from her body. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus, look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at, are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Ah, diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama, tell her. Tell her. That she's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to use her hands. Walk, come. Fast, come. Come, come. Turn around. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at the miracle here. Look at the miracle. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah! Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. 
they, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now, your eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is is an easy something. This come the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil. I, the devil wants to destroy this lady because if i don't pray for you they will i'm seeing your case getting so serious they will now take you to india for a kidney pr transplant what's wrong with you kidney nephritis what does that mean inflammation how do you know it's what the doctor told me i cannot lie on both sides of my kidney you can't lie down here yes and even yet i sleep straight you see the wickedness of the devil that even to sleep you can't sleep this way you can't sleep how and how else do you sleep lie down flat that devil must leave you what's your name Precious. you know how who knows her before you now start talking another rubbish story daddy Please come, sir. Our, our daddy. Yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like, it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? At home. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you, do you know? That if 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 you can come for Koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive. Tell somebody Koinonia and see the way demons fight, they are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You're a spiritual man. You should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it's, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening. There is a spirit that converts men. It doesn't happen by default. We must attack it in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this our lady? Come. We are going to pray for this kidney. Both of your kidneys. is verified that you have a, a kidney problem. So we are going to pray. Lay your hands on it. Please can we pray for this dear one? Anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us. Don't say it's not yet my issue. Uh -uh. Pray for her. Your prayer is working. There's a surgery the Lord is doing in her. 
place your hand on her. I command that devil right now out, out of her. That spirit masquerading as kidney, kidney problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command a miracle for you right now. I stretch my hands. I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My goodness, there's such power flowing. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. Stand up. Stand up. What couldn't you do before? Press it. Press it right now. that something is happening her and her own body I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed if you are not anointed you will make a ceremony out of nothing but when that anointing is not about trying to get it done if it's there is there if it's not there it's not there my dear check it honestly if there's pain tell us we will not be afraid there's... God is touching another lady heal her oh God in the name of Jesus fire is coming on a lady's throat I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, King Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth and nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Boshri. Who is that? 
protocol department. Where's the person from? Where? Well, well, well. Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy enter a new season enter a new dimension in the name of Jesus the impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies the Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ the person from the protocol the Lord is saying I will be your defender even in this season I release that word upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ please everyone that came with a sick person um, it's already happening to Pastor Femi but Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now three members who are members of Rema Chapel that's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him it's happening to three people three people who attend Rema Chapel three people in the name of the Lord Jesus it's a new season for you new season for you new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you don't have to bring them out just leave them where they are hallelujah we have five minutes to do this five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy please make sure we are going to try to finish fast but make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now, all those who came with sick people, apart from those who have been healed, if you brought somebody sick, please bring them out quickly. Quickly, let's lay hands on them. Give us some worship. Please, quickly. The Lord is healing people. There's the healing anointing in this place right now. God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this what is wrong with me if i don't ask you just a touch even if you are coming here for the first time hallelujah praise the lord those of us who are out here jesus loves you that's why he wants to heal you please i want you to receive you can reject it but i want you to receive it with all your heart as i pray for you you go back check yourself because of time we may not have time to share testimony but hold on please let me say something about testimonies um it is you are robbing god of glory when god gives you healing and blessings there are so many people who god has been touching but they never return to give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up. Just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her. And so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually financially there is an anointing on you as i speak to you financially spiritually i'm seeing god step even into your marriage our mother is crying your marriage this is the reason why you came 
because there's nothing there God is stepping in to do a miracle for you to the glory of his name miracle for you who is this your mom what's wrong with her Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I'll use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing power touch mama. She's in Yola, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus. God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Speed! I prophesy it upon you. Never to be the same again. And we pray for healing for Mama. He will testify in the name of Jesus. The anointing is so strong on you. God is bringing restoration in your marriage. God is bringing restoration in your finances. God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life. I command everything the devil has stolen to give way. In the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues. Because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request please pass it so ushers you can split yourself inside and outside someone attend to those in the overflows please very quick thank you jesus let your power touch your people right now in the name of jesus christ a glorious god Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual, this is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to uh, you? Uh, I'm just sick, I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital, they said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't be, my spleen don't be. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already here. The skin is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer? Cancer of what? For now, that I'm still there for this hospital for this uh, Shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You are serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Yeah. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child, and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that will you smile and tell him continue and die is that love so i want you to know that this thing god has no hand in it this is the devil the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil lay your hands on your stomach don't let the name cancer scare you you understand it is because of what you have heard the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that is cancer uh, and made you feel it is destructive there is the life of God it's called the way the very life of God and I want to pray to you you believe that you want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die I believe that like every other person you have your plans and aspiration and this is already threatening you to cut short your life uh, are you married where's your wife because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. Die. 
in the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body, we bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that this cancer will die and it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. So make sure you testify in the name of Jesus Christ. first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And also is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. 49. And as we have borne the image, oh hallelujah, as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. I'd like us to read verse 49. Read it with understanding. One to read. Please help us with the fun. The Bible says, as we have borne it begins to give us a contrast of inhabitants and beings in this earth. Right? When you read the preceding verses, it says there are different kinds of bodies. Please listen to me. The teaching tonight will bless you. It said there are some bodies that are terrestrial. 
there are some bodies that are celestial and all of them are within this territory hallelujah and then the bible says in the same way since we have born the image of the earthly there is a system in god that can help us manifest experientially the image of the heavenly and this is what i'm going to be dealing with very briefly tonight matthew chapter 6 from verse 10 help us O lord grant us understanding in the name of jesus Matthew chapter 6 from verse 10 as we have borne the image of the earthly so we will bear the image of the heavenly verse 10 one to read if you're there thy kingdom come thy will be done where not on earth not on earth thy will be done in earth in the same way your will has been done in heaven in heaven your will has been done and that's why the fullness of your kingdom find expression but lord let your kingdom find expression in the earth in the same degree in the same dimension and in the same similitude hallelujah Tonight, I want to share with us something that has helped my life through the years and is still helping my life. This, for me, is one of the keys to carrying very heavy weights of the glory, the life, the power, the beauty of the kingdom upon your life. If you will pay attention to what I'm about to teach you in these few minutes and you believe it and you walk in that light, then you will find out that first Corinthians 15 from verse 49 will become your testimony that here and now you will be a manifestation of a reality that is not obtained in this realm. You will walk as though a God upon the earth. Hallelujah. Jesus began to talk and he said, when you pray, let this be part of the contents of your prayer. Our Father who resides in the heavens and he says we hallow you, revere him, come to him with the spirit of reverence and worship and after that let the consummation of your prayer, let the core of your prayer be your kingdom come. your influence the atmosphere of heaven the same principle that makes heaven heaven lord let it find expression in the earth not just on the ground but in the earth these mortal bodies of clay let the heavenly let that which has made celestial beings find its way to the earth realm hallelujah and find its way upon the inhabitants of the earth that way your will will be done your kingdom will come your glory will be revealed write this word down please transformation transformation the bible says now the lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, not lawlessness, freedom, space. And he said, we all, wherever that place is, certain things happen there. And one of it is that we all, with open face, there is an unveiling. He says, we behold him as though looking at ourselves in a mirror. And then we begin to experience transformation so we are the image of the earthly but as we behold the heavenly there is a transformation that begins to happen and we begin to look like the heavenly 
it says we are changed from glory one dimension of glory to another and the name given to that process is transformation transformation is the process that makes you become like Jesus Christ transformation is the process that makes you become like Jesus Christ you can expound on it transformation is the process of alignment and conformity the process that process of alignment that process of conformity that makes a man become a manifestation and an expression of the heavenly that makes any man become an expression of Jesus the very Christ upon the earth transformation is the name given to the spiritual process the spiritual technology the system by which the earthly becomes the heavenly the system by which the weak becomes strong the system by which the canal becomes spiritual it's called transformation the desire of god listen the desire of god is that the fullness of his glory his glory means his nature his essence the fullness of his power the fullness of his kingdom his influence the fullness of his culture his way of life invade the earth and find expression in the earth exactly the way it finds expression in heaven that is the heart cry of the father That the fullness of his culture, the fullness of his principles, his glory, his power, his wisdom, find expression in the earth as it is in the heavens. God is not satisfied just with the beauty and the, the excellence of heaven. He wants to birth that same experience. That was the idea behind the formation of Eden an atmosphere that becomes a reflection of his character an atmosphere that becomes a reflection of his excellence an atmosphere that becomes a reflection of him that's why he gave his exact dominion to man not an inferior type his very dominion gave it to man and it still is his desire that his fullness will find expression if that happens in the earth then we will see the harvest of souls then we will see transformation and revival across individuals and territories then we will see the systems and the kingdoms of this world becoming experientially the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ then the ultimate plan of God will be fulfilled that all things be headed up in Christ even as he submits to the father and so the strategy is that Jesus submits to the father and then the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit like a faithful bride submits to the authority of Jesus and then through dominion and a demonstration of the reality of the kingdom the church the battle acts will bring creation under its feet and then all things according to Colossians becomes headed up in Christ and he becomes the fullness of all things. This is the eternal plan of God. But for that to happen, his kingdom must come. Listen, please get what I'm saying. His kingdom, his influence, his glory. When that happens, then we will see a reality that is foreign to the earth finding expression. Because there are vessels that become containers of that reality. It is at that point we will see the eyes of the blind open by a technology that medicine cannot explain. It is at that point we will see men walk like gods upon the earth. Right? When they saw the apostles, they called them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they operated laws that defied 
what man had known. And the heart cry of the father is that his kingdom, the fullness of his influence, the fullness of his power and his glory will find expression. Until that happens, God is still being misrepresented. The fullness of who God is will only be understood when his kingdom comes. If the kingdom of God does not show up in his fullness, certain dimensions of God will still remain vague and misunderstood. And that misconception will paint very wrong images about God. Are you following what I'm saying now? So the desire of God is that his kingdom will find expression in the earth. The desire of God is not just to take us to heaven. Please get this. The desire of God is not just for rapture to happen and the antichrist judged. All those things are part of the processes that will lead to the culmination because he is God and his sovereignty will make his prophecy to come to pass. However, he said, Thou art my battle axe and my weapons of war. With you I will beat down nations. And so as it is, we do not yet see all things according to Hebrews under his feet. Are you, are you understanding the teaching tonight? So God wants heaven to find expression. Not just as a song. Not just as a cliche. Not just as a Christian suggestion. Not just as a theological fact. He wants it here and now. Here and now. In this place. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. In this place. Here and now. We let your kingdom reign. Your kingdom reign. So here and now. In this life. And with this mortal body. He wants the image of the earth. To experience the fortest of the glories and the realities that dwell in heaven. But the limitation to that agenda is hidden in this word. Transformation or lack of it. The process by which the earthly becomes the heavenly. The process by which the treasure is transferred in earthen vessels. The treasure by which a celestial body becomes terrestrial. The process by which an ordinary biological being becomes literally a celestial being. When that happens, then we will bring our lives, our families, our territories, and the nations under the submission of the Christ. Listen, listen. What I am telling you is the reason why you are alive right now. If nobody has taught you this, then I want you to know that you do not even understand what we call Christianity or what we call the faith life. It is our participation in bringing this agenda to pass. Are we following now? And there is a way God wants to achieve this. I've taught it under the message, the emergence. You can get part three, but I just recap on it before we go to the main discussion tonight. I told you that there is a spiritual strategy to which cosmos will be subdued and will come under the governing influence of the king. The name of that strategy is the church. The church is not the coming together of people. Not just that. The church is not just a local assembly. The church is the name of the only spiritual strategy that is capable of birthing the purposes of God in its fullness. And so he says, Thou art Peter. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. And he says, Upon this rock, I will lift that strategy, that ecclesia, and the gates of hell will not prevail. So the church is God's only chance and hope. Not because he is not mighty, he has chosen 
through his predeterminate counsel that it is only through the church that the multifaceted wisdom of the Christ will find expression. And so the agenda of the, of the father is at the mercy of the understanding and the participation of the church. It's not at the mercy of the might of God. It's not at the mercy of the sovereignty of God. It's at the mercy of the equipping and the participation of the church. It is for this reason that he gave unto some apostles and prophets and teachers and evangelists and pastors for the equipping that they enlighten the saints, that they build up the saints, that they orient the saints, that they they become instruments of birthing transformation in the saints so that the saints now transform will do the work of the ministry what is the work of the ministry giving god space to find expression in the earth this is what ministry is all about hallelujah so the spirit of religion is the operation of darkness that masquerades itself as light and rather than exposing the people to the light of God that equips them and prepares them as an army it gives them a form of godliness but the the capacity the power in it to birth that transformation is not there so for such people their testimony is ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so they learn they have devotionals right there's all kinds of bible studies and prayer monday tuesday wednesday thursday there are church services however those activities have been shrouded in religion and so it does not sustain the ability to break out the light of god in them and so after many years of being in church after many years of being an elder being a deacon being a pastor after many years of a church existing that desire of God is unable to find expression because the average believer does not even know why they come to church. They come to church as a way of satisfying guilt. They come to church as a way of, of trying to dance to status quo so that they can avoid the embarrassment of being told they are carnal. But it's much more than that. There is a heart cry. And those who will carry out this heart cry are the ones who become unkillable. They are the ones who the Bible talks about them. It says for them, those people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake saying, don't touch these ones. It is for those kind of people that God would rather a nation die than for something to happen to them. They are the ones who are granted access to taste of the powers of the age to come realities that are not apportioned for our dispensation but on the strength of their yieldedness they can touch into certain things this is what happened to david it was not given to him to see the coronation of jesus it was not in his dispensation but his loyalty and allegiance and alignment opened him up to the mysteries of the spirit and he peeped into the coronation and he said the lord said to my lord see thou at my until I make your enemies your footstool. The prophet Isaiah was not supposed to see the outpouring of the spirit that Joel would prophesy about. But because of his alignment, he tasted of an ability and a dimension that was not made for his dispensation. And he saw in a vision with stammering lips and another tongue will they praise me. Wherein I have said this is the rest and the refreshing. It was Joel that began to prophesy. All of these prophets, bits and pieces of their revelation into that ultimate agenda. And here we stand today, the prophesied generation. Here we stand today, the generation that all the prophets have spoken about. While they stood here, they saw you in the loins of prophecy. And here we are, majorly wasting our time and wallowing in the in the futility of religion unable to partner with the holy spirit to exert any tangible force in the spirit as far as advancing his agenda is we are caught up in the web of religion 
pastor, apostle, prophet, caught up in the religion of meetings and conventions and conferences, organizing ourselves and organizing God and his agenda out of our program. But Jesus said this. Jesus himself, not a prophet. He said, your desire should be to participate in any way to see his kingdom come. Meaning, if you are alive today hearing the sound of my voice and there is no active contribution from your life in birthing this agenda, you do not deserve to live. For he said, I shall not die. He didn't say live to roam around wallowing in religion. He said, I shall not die but leave to declare. Is God speaking to us? And so the way he will achieve this agenda is through the church. God wants to do this by revealing himself. Listen, the way that the agenda of God will find expression is when his glory is revealed first in this earthen vessel and then through this earthen vessel to the entire territory of human race. So the agenda is twofold. The manifestation of it. First, to you, the battle acts. He wants you to experience his glory for yourself in your life. That your life becomes an expression of his beauty and glory. That your life becomes a validation to the fact that the kingdom is true. And that the power of God exists. And then out of that experience, you begin to dispense the grace and the glory and the anointing and the power from your personal testimony as a contribution of your quota to see his kingdom come. Are we learning something? Say after me, God desires that my life will host his presence. God desires that my life, my body, my spirit will host his power god desires that i become an expression of the reality of god's ability here and now god desires that i become an expression of heaven and everything it carries here and now that's god's desire for you god's desire is bigger than giving you a wife don't reduce god God's desire is bigger than giving you a jeep. The devil can give you a jeep. God's desire is bigger than giving you crowds and giving you a church and giving you anointing. God's desire is that the fullness of himself, he wants you to become a conduit of his glory, a conduit of his wisdom. That word, dogza, the full representation of all that is obtainable in him as far as our dispensation is given and defined by he wants it to find expression so the limitation of the agenda of god is the limitation of the ability of the saints to be transformed and not the limitation of his might the inability of the saints to contend for transformation has misrepresented god in the earth this is the tragedy in the earth right now He wants to reveal his wisdom and his glory and his power in your life first and then through your life. Please don't make that mistake to just think he just wants to reveal his glory through you. No, he wants to reveal himself in you, then through you, in you, then through you, in you, then through you. There are two limitations that the Bible reveals to us. Two limitations. That can frustrate the church from achieving this there are two limitations that the bible points to us that as much as we say we love god there are two limitations that will stop us from ultimately satisfying the desire of the father number one the first limitation is what the bible calls the gates of hell the gates of hell Matthew 16 verse 18 the gates of hell the first limitation that the Bible openly points out to us that will be a challenge it will be a standard that will attempt to resist this agenda the gates of hell he said and I say unto thee thou art Peter 
and upon this rock I will build my ecclesia and the gates of hell not demons not principalities the gates the fullness of the arsenal of hell what is the gate of hell it means satan and all the arsenals and the strategies that he has satan and all the arsenals and strategies that he has in an attempt to fight the advancement of the kingdom that's what is called the gate of hell the gate of hell represents satan and all his gimmicks comes from the greek word stratomai it says do not be unaware of the devices that word is stratomai the strategies the skills the arsenals of satan there is a formula he uses for deception there is a formula he uses for witchcraft there is a formula he uses those formulas are like secret codes they are also called mysteries that is the principle with which he has brought nations for instance the bible tells us that satan uses the spirit of fear to put people in captivity he says and to deliver them through through fear have all their lifetime be subject to bondage so the spiritual strategy to bring bondage is fear and like job what you fear now becomes your lot are you getting me so the bible says the gates of hell will rise you want to get a job there is a spiritual formula to frustrate you it is part of the arsenals of the gate of hell you want to get married there is a spiritual formula because your marriage has a route to bringing this agenda to pass since that there is a prophet that your womb should produce and satan will fight it it's not about you coming from east or west it's about something when he said the seed the seed shall bruise the head of the serpent satan started looking for everybody that looks like the seed he's still searching today hallelujah and he will use everything everything he will use everything your sensory perceptions your financial condition your family situation your academic condition every strategy satan is desperate more desperate than you can ever imagine to see that the agenda of god does not come let me tell you those who trivialize the reality of satan and his plot to fight to death the agenda of god are joking jesus himself said there will only be one limitation to the building of the church the gates of hell the spirit of religion came from satan activity without power came from satan because when the nation of israel in egypt wanted their exodus the moment they told moses we want to go moses told am pharaoh what did pharaoh say occupy them is because they are free start giving them activities let them have meetings upon meetings seminars upon seminars and then they get busy and it convinces them that activity is equal to spirituality is god speaking to us tonight hallelujah the gates of hell they will haunt you i guarantee you when jesus went to fast satan followed him and stood somewhere watching jesus praying listening to his prayer points as he communicated with heaven for 40 days satan was nowhere else in the world roaming around he was waiting because it was a it was a a, a a defining moment for jesus as soon as jesus was done here comes satan his strategy again if you are really the son of god turn these stones to bread and he took him up a cliff and so on and so forth and the bible says when jesus overcame him what did he do he left him for a season is it in your bible he left him forever make no mistakes that because you think you are born again and filled with the holy spirit the devil will cross his leg and say wow promise so you are going to have a great ministry in the future well done you are a new creation in christ you are joking you are joking hallelujah the gates of hell they will rise brothers and sisters let me tell you the gates of hell will rise you are a brother you love god the gates of hell will rise through different strategies hallelujah look at samson the gates of hell rose up 
he was just moving and one demon entered a lion and the lion came to feed you think the lion just he was just strolling around and he said lion let's let's try wrestling you think that's what was happening to samson because satan was trying everywhere to find out about his strength so he used the strongest of the beasts and a lion came and samson tore it into pieces and satan said it's not there strategy change he used the philistines they caught him right and he, he used the jawbone of an ass satan said i missed it again another strategy delilah if i've used physical strength let me use emotional strength where is that beautiful delilah and delilah came and satan saw how vulnerable samson was he said we are making progress we are making progress he, he delilah insisted and when she cut off his hair the judge of israel had been brought to his knees hell began to celebrate the gates of hell prevailing samson's eyes were plucked off samson's hair was cut off and i can imagine god saying come on samson you gave it cheap to delilah you would have asked me for a wife i would have given you a wife and delilah ran away but then what they did not know is that there is still a package in god to restore listen god said samson i know you have blown it your lord now is death but you would you would die in victory let all the people that represent evil in that land gather in one auditorium and the strength will be restored and samson said oh lord i know i've sinned against you the the lord you have given me for my generation as a judge i allowed a woman sleeping with delilah that's what some of you are doing as you are looking at me and laughing as if it does not matter you carry your death you are insulting esau for taking porridge and some of us have done what is cheaper than taking porridge when you know what is upon your shoulder you will package yourself and warn yourself from the spirit samson made israel to suffer just because the strength and the salvation of israel was upon him as a judge but then you will not say he didn't fulfill his assignment because he pushed he said oh god let me die with them and while he pushed the bible says he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime imagine the mass burial of evil all the evil men gathered together with their idol and he crushed them into pieces and died with them every man that showed up was given a piece of this assignment and they ran with it they didn't do it part time they spent their life doing it when Jezebel was threatening the prophets of God Elijah the Tishbite arose a fiery prophet who frustrated the council of darkness and left and now probably in the 60s or the 50s or the 40s who knows one woman was crying in slave trade and say oh lord i may die but let this little child of mine exalt your name and that person became your ancestor became your grandfather became your father and now it is you that woman's prayer who died in the slave trade that lord i saw a vision that africa must be saved that's you sitting down roaming around and god is saying do you not know you are a manifestation of prophecy how we limit him how we limit him the gates of hell first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18 let's hurry up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain break every chain listen wherefore we would have come to you even i paul but once again the gates of hell 
Satan personally took it as a responsibility. Satan told all the demons, stand. This Paul, I've noticed this guy is, I mean, this guy is just winning souls and expanding and enlarging the territories of the kingdom. I will hinder him by myself. Listen, when you see people being challenged and confronted, shut your mouth. It's because they have, many of you have not received any confrontation. You think it's just because you are in Christ. It's because you have not done anything striking enough. At least start praying. Pray to a point that it generates fire and see what happens. That's the night somebody will appear to you and say, let me warn you. Your father obeyed us. Your mother obeyed us. Take care and leave. You wake up in the morning and say, what happened? I'm praying and I'm seeing somebody appear. And you think it's backsliding. It's because fire did something in the spirit. The gates of hell. Let me tell you, there are giants in every mountain. Don't let any man fool you. I pity any man of God that wants ministry, wants crowd, wants miracle and will not pray. You are roaming around doing geo or doing president. You will die like a chicken, I tell you. See, let me tell you. Though if you know how desperate Satan is to destroy your life, Satan does not mind if you die after koinonia on your way going. That's when you will appreciate the mercy and the grace of God. Because for one month now, you have not prayed, some of you. And you have traveled and gone everywhere. And yet nothing happened. Just a Kai. It's just because I'm in Christ. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. A lady prayed in the night brothers and sisters prayed in the night physically in the morning her uncle called her and said what did you do her physical uncle alive what did you do i can't remember he said be careful you don't know who you are trying let me tell you gates will not open like that you want to bring breakthrough you want barrenness to stop in your family you want oppression to stop the cause of poverty to stop all this all this tea christianity will only the devil will encourage you to keep doing it but let fire burn upon the altar and you watch reactions from the gate of hell oh yes i tell you reaction from the gate of hell is not a sign that the victory of jesus is not there it's a sign that something you are doing is striking a chord how many of you have finished praying and you find out that your loved ones start insulting you and there is fight in the house it's when you finish praying the day you don't pray there's joy and peace and love even somebody who doesn't like you just loves you but you take out time and blast in tongues for two hours non-stop as you step out they say look i've been warning you and you are saying what did i do it's not the person the gates of hell attempting to stop you You tell that man, no, I won't sleep with you. I'm going somewhere and see what happens. That's the day somebody will come and tell you, we don't do it like this in Nigeria. Better bend or become a fool. And you sit down and say, truly, Satan is threatened by every communication of zeal towards your destiny. I know what cares Satan. I found out early in life. The moment you say, I am taking a step, I tell you, Satan fears you. It's not everybody Satan is afraid of. There are men who have determined when you worship God and you say, Lord, in life and in death, Satan says, what do I do with this person? Whether you pray or not, things are working well. I guarantee you it's because somebody somewhere is praying for you. A day will come, God will wake and say, Mr. Man, there are still other sinners getting born again. Your tenure of, of cheap playing Christianity has been expired. I said, it doesn't really matter. Oh God, I thank you. I love you. You are my king. You died. You've done everything. You will, you will waste like a chicken. Especially, take what I'm saying serious. I'm not playing games. There is the gate of hell. It will meet you on the road to your job. It will meet you when you are about to give birth. One of our ladies just put to bed. Annie worshipped him. Bouncing baby boy. 
hallelujah at a point they were talking stories here and there and she said she had a dream and she saw me i thank god for using my face as a communication of victory and seriousness in the spirit no i say it with with all you if you see me in your dream before this hear what i'm saying before you carry newspaper around and say you yeah, are you are programming all of that let me tell you some of you are not serious with your destiny even you you know you are not serious that's why the gate of hell will pass you you say look what of me they say no 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 you are not an issue there is somebody we are looking for listen may your life not be so cold that the gate of hell ignores you you would think it's spiritual growth but it's a sign of being so inert in the spirit you are not striking any chord when the devil wants to destroy your parents he comes freely no resistance whatsoever you snow in demons come in do what they do and they and they, they come out and you wake up i refuse my life to be like that for as long as i am alive the devil will know that i love the lord and i will stake my life to see his kingdom come are you getting what i'm saying do you know there are some of you is the covering of your prayer that is keeping your family make no mistakes about it they are criticizing you and you don't know why it's a reaction don't stop that's the time to stay after they do all of that you find a corner you know how kings reign come on you know how they reign don't stand outside behaving like a fool you lock yourself fire is rising everywhere in the spirit and the gates of hell are saying here he comes again may they know your name he said jesus i know paul i know joshua selman i know they will know you and know your tongues once they hear it they say here he comes Shekete katababa, manta protokaya, tongues that have grown with pain, tongues that have grown with sacrifice. The gates of hell will fight anything they can fight in your life. Please be aware of it. You may be as beautiful as the sun. You will watch men pass you like this. That's when it will occur to you that the God of this world can blind people's eyes hallelujah one day in my life fridge fell on my head the devil wanted to destroy my life yet by the mercy of God I've shared with you some of don't think I'm playing games that's why if listen when the devil was doing that he saw the word I'm giving you it's not just because of Joshua Selman when they looked at the womb of her that was with child they said they saw two nations not two people there are some of you the, the arsenals of hell rising against you doesn't even have anything to do with you as in you is what you represent backslide and see how the devil just leaves you and upon this rock I will build my church if you travel up and down and come back safe it's not luck there is a law of life if you don't know it you will keep being afraid for the rest of your life tomorrow we are going to Obomosho praise the Lord to go and invade and set fire is fire all the way brothers and sisters mm. so break every chain break every chain may your appearance be the threat of hell in any territory that when you show up come on man look there are some of you the reason why god will insist that you marry somebody is because he's taking himself to that family he packaged himself to you and he's saying go there and you enter that family and you just discern the spiritual atmosphere and see chains that have kept people and say for introduction welcome note lift up your heads all ye gates that's introduction but why has your life 
not pass this kind of threat to the gates of hell. Hallelujah. Moses threatened the devil when he died. Satan took his body, his dead body. They were fighting over his dead body. Satan said, He's dead. I still want it because if he resurrects, I, I rather carry it and keep it and make sure nothing happens. The dead body of a man. Elisha died and his dead body still brought somebody back to life. But the beautiful part is that Luke 10, 19 he said, behold, see I have given you. Whether you know how to access it or not is not the issue. But I have given you. He said, behold, when the Bible tells you behold, it means see, conceive what I'm saying as a reality in your spirit. It's not just open your eyes and see. You are already seeing. You are not blind. Behold, man takata yabada. I give you. I, give, I confer upon you power to tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. The word power there is the word exousia authority i give it to you joshua selman because you will need it you will never be able to advance koinonia without that power there are gates that will rise there are gates over saria don't think this crowd gathering outside is just because satan was asleep there is a force we know where we do it when the prayer band comes together on tuesday as they lift their voice something is happening and while you are there in your room some chains just break and you say let me go for koinonia today and something wants to keep you but god will say come 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 listen please let me submit to you in all sincerity if your prayer life is dead use this meeting to jack it back to life i'm not playing games this is not an issue of i'm called into the ministry of prayer nobody is called into any ministry of prayer i say everybody is called into the ministry that will make jesus come the advancement of the kingdom he didn't tell some let me teach you how to pray the rest go fishing he was talking to everybody you see the importance of prayer if you are not told this let me tell you what i'm doing to you is imparting the spirit of prayer and supplication if i don't give you a reason to pray you will never pray all these lazy things people do around and let me tell you something a big secret see explore the mystery of night prayers we'll, we'll soon do when there is a series on that the mystery of night prayers when all the noise and all the things that, that stop unnecessary angelic activities because of disobedience those people are asleep and you are praying you are just worshipping putting worship like this that's why it's good to be rich create a prayer garden in your house put flowers put the portrait of Jesus remove every nonsense that Nigeria has put in your head and you put it and you wake up in the night you carry your notebook where you are trusting God for direction for the next level you carry your Bible you carry your recorder this is what I do this is what I do I put heavy worship for hours and while that is happening I'm lying down flat with notebooks shut Oh Lord, this land is opening up. God said, don't go anywhere. Stay in one place. Say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I would have made a fool out of myself. And God says, I want to do more, son. You are limiting me. You are limiting me. Expand your capacity. Thank God for what you have seen in Koinonia, but it's only little. And I say, Lord, supply the grace. And that heavy Shekinah comes. I lie down there. I sleep and I wake up. I sleep and I wake up. The body is tired. I say, sleep there. You are not going anywhere. Not what you do on your bed. You lie down, then you put the earphone and you sleep off. That is, is a basic level of spiritual growth. It's spiritual growth that is a reflection of laziness. You don't write your exams on your bed and say, bring my exam paper. No matter what the rain is, you get up. Please, are you getting blessed? I'm trying to impart some level of seriousness in us. 
because this is how the great will reign the gates of hell everybody say I have authority when I read this scripture years ago it made me afraid there are two words in this whole thing that makes me fear God not behold not power not all by any means or any means what does by any means mean to you is the part of scripture you understand that will open up when the bible says nothing shall by any means it's a double confirmation so in case anything happens and i didn't pray satan will still not use it as a yardstick because the revelation of by any means is at work in my life by any means whether by means of my ignorance or carelessness that scripture still fortifies me while God is trying to restore me. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you only believe in the power, that's what you see. If you believe the by any means part, that's why some of you were almost sleeping with one lady one day. You two, you don't know what happened. Right? Never brought light or something. That's the power of God working. Don't, don't just laugh. Come on, you know I will talk to you. right or you were planning to go somewhere and rain fell without cloud by any means keeping you i want you to realize that you truly have authority now whether you have received it is one thing for me to give you this it's another thing for you to receive it and it is yet another thing to know how to use it are you getting me whether or not you refuse it it does not mean i did not give you he said i give you authority let's hurry up the second limitation that the bible lets us see is the limitation that is caused by lack of a transformed and an aligned mind i want to dwell on this a little and then we'll pray the first limitation is the gates of hell satan but the second an even bigger limitation is lack of a transformed mind. The absence of a transformed mind can be a limitation to the might and the glory of God finding expression. Now, let me explain something very quickly. I want to just correct something very, very quickly. Please look up. I taught something and we're having a school of ministry and I did a little teaching and I saw the way the students, the thing was just nailing them. And uh, God, they were saying, it's not like I don't agree with you, but let it just settle down. What we call the tripartite nature of man. I want to teach you something. Please look up. People have written books who have never had any encounter with God and have written all kinds of audacious books. Let me have three people. I want to correct something now, please. Hallelujah. Watch this. Just stand face. You stand in the middle. You are wearing white. God bless you. Watch this. Look at this. This is what you have been taught. Now, I'm not against what we call the tripartite nature of man. But I want to teach you something that will really liberate you. Otherwise, you will not understand this transformation thing I'm talking about. What I'm going to teach is very powerful now. This is what we have taught people. This is man number one, spirit. This is man, same man number two, soul. Is that not true? This is man number three, body. This is what you have taught. The Bible never teaches this one. This is nonsense. That's religion that brought up that. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? It is true that man is a tripartite being. But the concept of tripartite being is not three distinct individuals like Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh -uh. It's in the similitude of that. But watch this. This is the part I want to explain to you. What is the soul of man? Look up. If you don't understand this, forget transformation. Forget carrying the power of God and the glory of God. What exactly is the soul of man? It is true that the Bible says that you'll be kept spirit, soul, and body. Right? But what is the soul of man? Is What I'm saying is, can you separate the spirit of man to say, this is spirit. You, this is soul. Stand here. This is body. Can that happen? Look at me. When a man dies, how many objects or entities 
are separate. Two. Is that not true? Whatever you call it, whether spirit or soul, we're about to find out. But whatever, let's call it X. X comes out and the body is lying down there. Correct? Is that true? We're about to get the name of X now. Listen. <laughs> you say why? No one say why. There's no why in the question. Are you, are you following what I'm saying now? If you don't understand this, you will be confused. Which part relates to God? Which part should change? Which part goes to heaven? And there is, that's to tell you believers are not even growing. Because if you are growing, you must meet this question on the way. Are you getting what I'm saying? What is the soul? Look up. We teach that man is a spirit. He has a soul. He lives in a body. Very correct. It's only that we don't think over what we are saying. Joshua Selman. Listen. Joshua Selman is a person. He has a handkerchief. He lives in a room. How many? Assuming this room is a living thing. How many living things do we have? Are you getting what I'm saying now? What you call the soul. Please get this. Never forget what I'm about to teach you now. What you call the soul, listen, is the spirit of man, but connected to his will, emotions, and intellect. The will, emotion, and, and intellect of man are forces or spiritual frameworks that were attached to his spirit man to be able to help that spirit relate with the body. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when the Bible says man is a spirit, it is true in that he's describing the fact that this spirit entity came from God, right? But the spirit like that, if the spirit just comes to the body, there will still not be interaction because of law of territory. Go and get my message, mysteries of the kingdom. I've taught on the law of territory that there must be compatibility in territories. That's why spirits cannot move freely in the earth. They need material bodies. Is that true? Because of the law of territory. So the spirit as it were. Is unable to find expression physical in the body. Until a dividing line. Are you getting what I'm saying now? An attachment. That helps the spirit. To communicate with this container called the body. And that attachment. Is the mind. Composed of your will ability to make decisions so the spirit wills and through the will of man the body executes that will are you getting what i'm saying emotions and then intellect a sense of comprehension so this body can wake up as an intelligent person with a brain remove the will emotion and the intellect and you don't have a soul again you just have spirit and body are you getting what i'm saying so when you say man is a soul, you are right. When you say man is a spirit, you are right. But I'm telling you the dynamics of the difference. Because when you get born again, this guy, watch this. When you get born again, in, in his original sense, your spirit man is united with Christ. It experiences the fullness of salvation immediately. Immediately. Oneness. So where? Are you getting my point? The Zoe life implanted here. But that Zoe life has not found expression in this body. That Zoe life has not permeated these faculties that was given to you. That is why although you are born again, you find out that you may still have that appetite to smoke. The memory of what you did is still there. Because this dividing line, the will, emotion and intellect has not been transformed. Are you getting what I'm saying? So the Bible puts it this way. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 9. You need to understand this. Habalists understand this. Those who do astral travel. Right? What they call them. Harry Krishna or all this world relief. They understand this very well. It's part of the foundational teachings that they are taught. Everybody read. Want to read. The word end there is the culmination of your faith. Receiving the culmination of your faith. What is it? This is talking to believers. What is the salvation of your soul? The salvation of your soul is when your will, your emotions and your intellect progressively 
begin to experience the fullness of the reality of what has happened in your spirit the degree to which that salvation happens is the degree to which your body begins to respond more perfectly to the impulses of the spirit which is connected with God are you understanding what I'm saying so watch this all authority has been given so we believe the word of God that means this spirit man is carrying the very authority of Jesus that means that if the mind of Christ is automatically attached to your spirit experientially nothing will be impossible for you again because there is no resistance as far as your soul realm is concerned are you getting what I'm saying are we following what I'm saying but this is usually the problem watch this all power is here the body is a puppet is ready to execute anything that these channels give it room to are you getting what I'm saying now this is all the power of God but this is the level of access so that power can barely find expression to the body so all that the body executes are you getting what I'm saying is just a little and a fraction of the capacity of what is resident there but because human beings look at the body and so promise now teaches because he used his eyes to read oh sick bodies you can be healed blind you will be healed and your spirit man is saying yes we have the power don't fear but because you do not have that vision of your soul the transformation what makes the earthly heavenly are you getting my message now that very factor i now come to him on wheelchair is it true that all authority has been given yes and i say stand up and he can't stand up he sits back down i say look ginger your feet let's try it again watch this stand up and nothing happens and at the end of it this guy says your jesus is a liar what happened he was misrepresented you just misrepresented jesus christ because what you read and what happened conflicted themselves do you agree with me now i am telling you that god is in his throne at the mercy of your transformation as mighty as he is on the throne he's at the mercy give me space and then while you are struggling a man like benny him comes and he just stands and says holy if you are on a wheelchair stand up stand up and he stands up and he's walking what happened more jesus than you no no there is a greater conformity to the image of the christ that has made him his body now responds in greater measure are you getting what i'm saying so it is this middle man that is your next project the moment you get born again your job is to bring that mind that contains your will emotion and intellect that makes your spirit called a soul right so when we say salvation of the soul you're not really doing anything per se although we generally say spirit man are you getting my point but what we really mean i'm breaking the dynamics for you is that attachment to your spirit man called your will emotion and intellect that is the doorway through which the reality and the glory of god find expression because he that is joined to christ is one spirit your spirit man has been joined to christ except you don't believe the bible but that christ cannot show up on the scene because your mind is a limitation so i come as a preacher and i say in the name of jesus darkness flee and although the spirit is willing but the flesh becomes weak because the doorway through which the possibilities of god through the spirit will find expression in the body is also weak so i look at somebody oppressed and i say in the name of jesus christ be free and nothing happens when nothing happens over a long time the devil now comes and says why don't you try me you have tried the rest jesus being part of the rest and you say truly oh, let's go to the village we have tried man of god i appreciate you i know god is using you mightily but the emergency requires another force to come into attention and the herbalist that you meet has mastered the art of yielding his faculties 
See, this is the same thing that happens when demons come. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me teach you something now. Watch this. A man who is not born again can have demons attach themselves the same way the Holy Spirit seeks to attach himself. That's called demon possession. Are you getting me? The will is helplessly at the mercy of that so the man can carry out anything. This man can be born again. Demons can no longer come to his spirit man per se but they use the doorways of these faculties. So between the spirit and the body there is an interruption. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So he can be born again, yet anger is still killing him. He can be a man of God, yet he's still masturbating and he's praying in tongues. Genuine tongues, real tongues. And you are saying, Kai, this man of God is fake. No, he's not fake. Something is happening in the soul realm. The salvation of his soul has not been perfected. So the Bible says it this way. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal because it's not the realm of the flesh but mighty through god are you seeing now he shows you how that transformation happens to the pulling down of strongholds casting every imagination every high thing that dwells in that soul realm and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ listen so the difference between me and many of us is not necessarily more anointing as we call it the difference is more alignment more yieldedness more translation so it makes you reflect the heavenly this is what happened to enoch enoch yielded himself in a point that in his lifetime this his mind was so yielded and this body started experiencing immortality you see the concept of immortality that many preachers, people like Kobus, great man I love and honor, he's gone to be with the Lord. He caught the revelation of immortality, but not the dynamics of its manifestation. So he knew from the word of God that if immortality is at work in your life, the first thing that happens is you stop aging. At once, you stop aging. That's a sign that immortality is at work. But it so happens that immortality is not an impartation. The fullness of that which is in your spirit seeks to find expression in your body. And our yieldedness is so slow that our lifetime cannot contain that degree of transformation. So God just takes your spirit and your body lies. The moment the trumpet shows up, the law of immortality is what will make your body. That's the law of resurrection. That's what makes a seed to arise again. Are we getting blessed? Bless you guys. I just hope you understood what I said. Psalm 78 verse 41. Please let's rush. Help us Holy Spirit. Holy, holy, holy. 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 Yeah, they turned back and tempted God. And what else did they do? They what? They limited the Holy One. Who are the day? Mortal men. God wanted to step in. Oh Israel, I want to do mighty things in your midst. But the Bible says they limited God. They limited God. A man can limit God. Brothers and sisters, how many times have we limited God in our lives? How many times have we limited God in our finances? How many times have we limited God in our ministries? Who told you the dead cannot rise? Who told you all these things cannot happen? There is something stopping the realities that have been deposited in the spirit man. And so every time we engage, I'll be sharing with us the forces that will help us attain to this transformation. Listen. I will never forget the first day that I was going to experience the anointing of the Spirit in my life. I've never seen it before. Never laid hands on anybody. I just kept praying and doing all the things that I knew to do. And one day, there was a lady who came from somewhere. And I prayed, you know, we bought food for her. And then she, I prayed for her. She got born again. And I was about to minister the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Just by faith. And I just laid my hands. 
and it was as if I was dreaming. I just saw somebody moving back. I had barely touched her. And that's how she just went on the floor. Ah! I said, oh God, what, what is this good news that I'm seeing? So be excited when you begin to see. It. Don't just be childish about it. That's because some of you, once you see that, you keep looking for people whose <laughs> surface area to volume ratio is small, so that the anointing will enter fast. You now go and look for small, small ladies and try to throw them. I remember years ago there was a gentleman. Okay, the power of God will touch you now, now, and the ladies just doing like this, but refusing to fall. Then you put one finger, you not fall. Two fingers, you are doing madness. The agenda of God is bigger than that thing. God will just let you because at least you are cooperating with him. So just do and let's continue. But it doesn't mean God, you are slowing down your progress. <laughs> Some of you are doing it, Abby. Praise the Lord. And so from that time, I began to see, I will never forget when I saw one dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit in my life. I think it was our first crusade, Panchin crusade. We usually have pastor's conference where we have some time with the pastors, teach them. That was in 2006. And then we we'll have like, um, we we'll just distribute ourselves in different churches and go and worship with them. So I was in a church and I gave a word of knowledge. When I gave a word of knowledge, the person literally stood up by the anointing. You know this running that people run out and come. Brrr, I was shocked. I thought that's how they do it in the church. I called another person and he ran out. I could not understand. I didn't know that gradually, gradually, gradually. Hallelujah. Let me use medical terms. Have you seen times when medical people, a woman wants to give birth, right? And they said that her pelvic area has not dilated enough. Is that true? Is there a baby? Yes. Does he want to come out? Yes. Why is he not coming out? The mother. Right? And sometimes they have to do all kinds of things. Worse come to worse when nothing is wrong. They just tear her open and carry that child because the child must come out. Pray that God will not have to do CS for you for this destiny thing to come out by force. As soon as Zion travails, the Bible uses that simile too. She will put forth a child. So, the reason why God is able to do what he's doing now in a larger capacity is that by grace and by constant partnership with the Spirit over the years, we have been able to open a little more. So, the transformation that has, our mindset has been able to come in greater alignment with the Word of God. So, more of heaven can find expression to our lives. But compared to where God wants to take, we are still so slow. This is why we must continue contending. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That is the reason why we celebrate men of God. We don't just celebrate the men. We celebrate their sacrifice of giving God space to find expression. That's why a man can enter a city and that city will shake. Not just shake in terms of crowd. A lot of even people who will not come for the crusade. There's a woman. I think one of the few women on earth that I know is alive. That carries the presence of God in the order of Ketri. She's still alive till today. When that woman is coming for a crusade, immediately they spot her car. That's how healings and deliverance happen. I was shocked. I didn't know there's such a person in the earth. Ah! The day I saw that, I said, my goodness. Ah, this is heaven. This is what we're saying. This woman stepped into the crusade ground. And my goodness, the kind of miracles. I'm not talking of all these miracles that you don't even know whether you are healed or not. You are just afraid of the pastor. So you say yes. Provable miracle. Wounds that will close right away. Not magic. Right away. Wounds closing. I said, my goodness, oh God. So you still have men and women. And ladies, do you know you have an advantage over men? Because of your configuration. Your configuration was designed in the similitude of the Holy Spirit. You see that? That's why many ladies are easily possessed and demonized. Because their configuration is in the similitude of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Let's write a few things. A transformed mind. I'm defining it now. A transformed mind is the mind of Christ. That's what the Bible calls the mind of Christ. A transformed mind is the mind of Christ. I'm defining it now. 
it is the mind that has come into agreement it is the mind that has come into agreement and alignment with the word of god come into agreement and alignment with the word of god comma and has willfully submitted to the influence of the holy spirit that's a transformed mind so a will emotion and intellect that has come into agreement you no longer conflict the principles of god an alignment and a mind or mindset that has submitted to the full influence of the holy spirit this is what the bible calls the end of your faith the culmination of the work of salvation and this very one transformation is not initial it's not automatic it's not at once it's progressive it takes a while it is over that that the bible says in philippians chapter 2 verse 12 let's look at philippians chapter 2 verse 12 it says walk out your salvation you see it now that's the part he says walk out not just the work of the law not just trying to add something to what jesus has done no walk it out the walk out there it says wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not in my presence only but now much more in my absence comma walk out your what your own salvation as a matter of urgency what is the work there is the name given to your participation your cooperation with the holy spirit in your fasting you are working it out i'll be sharing with us in your prayer and all the points i'm about to give you here you are working it out romans chapter 13 verse 14 the bible gives it an interesting picture it says put on the lord jesus christ where it's like a cloth put on put ye on the lord jesus christ and what by so doing make no provision for the flesh that means there will be space for the flesh until you put on that put on the transformation is like wearing a new garment your possibilities in life through god is defined by your degree of submission in the soul realm to the power and the glory and the might of god hallelujah You see why we love and honor the Holy Spirit. Write this very quickly. The degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man. The degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man. Exactly becomes the degree of access the degree of transformation and alignment to God by any man exactly becomes the degree of access to the glory and the power of God in and through his life. That means your degree of alignment to God is the exact measure of how much of the power of God will manifest in your life. Not how much you carry, but how much will find expression. So you can carry God as we all believe. But you never see that God show up in your life. In my life. Lord. Be glorified. Will you be glorified. In my life. today can you sing that song lord in my life in my life be glorified be glorified
hallelujah so what is your own part of the deal as far as your your transformation is concerned remember the purpose of your transformation is to give god space in the earth through your life that god will find expression through you that god will find expression through your church man of god there is so much god can do with that ministry woman of god there is so much god can do in you but your disalignment has made him look small i have made you too small in my mind ah, how true oh lord we really should cry for forgiveness forgive me and i have believed in a lie that you are unable to help me but today right in this place but now oh lord i see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong show yourself in my life and in my heart and with my song oh lord be mad oh that's the song you must sing that's the song of transformation be magnified break the walls break the boundaries be magnified oh lord be magnified oh lord you are highly exalted A man had died brothers and sisters six months he was dead and st patrick's came and said where is the grave true story when they showed the grave he signed his signature on it st patrick he said dig it they brought the man out alive in this earth men whose mindsets have authorized heaven to make them gods i shared with you about ancient i study a lot about revivals i was sharing with you about the monk that they were building a cathedral and a wood stopped halfway there was no money to buy another one he held it and drew it and completed it Hi. transformation that makes the earthly to become the heavenly catherine kuman she was so transformed to a point that she was preaching on a pulpit and she left the stage but she was still floating she didn't realize she had left the stage apostle babalola for those of you who know the founder of cac that man preached to a point he was levitating and going they held him and brought him back ew kenyon men who allowed the possibilities of god you don't die less than 70 in his church he will raise you back to life one time a man had a, a, an accident a car climbed his legs broke his bones and all ew kenyon did was to look at him because he sees through his eyes and he looked at him allowing heaven to pass through your eyes and the bones started making noise we say it today like mystics but men, the Bible says, men whom the earth is not worthy of. How did they live? Imagine, brothers and sisters, Elijah, he was talking with God on the mountain and they came to interrupt him. He called fire. Your atmosphere opened. Fire came, consumed them, and they went back physically. Daniel entered the lion's den. And looked at the lions and smiled joshua told the son to stand still there is something we are missing in our generation and bill johnson got it on the spot he called it the supernatural power of a transformed mind how that heaven wants to find expression do you know how much god can do with koinonia 
but in my little mind imagine how much i limit him and god says well i will just manage with the little space and see the little things that trickles of his presence that happened during miracle service and some of you are clapping and god is saying i wish i wish that's the reason why god transports men from region to region he's transporting himself through them tomorrow we are going to a bomber shop and god is going there through the decree we have given him he expects to do great things but he wants to do more unfortunately joshua selman has refused to be as yielded as god wants so probably there is somebody in a mortuary that is not supposed to die but i may not be able to raise him and i will go there and when they finish people will come with seeds and offering and say you are a powerful man and then our arrogance will further prove our mediocrity because there is no passion to press again don't compare yourself with what is happening around in our generation you'll be a weak christian compare yourself with men who live like gods on the earth they threw paul took him out of the city and killed him when they killed him they went the other apostles came yeah paul this is how you have done just shook himself <laughs> said guys please i will talk to you later on paul said i am in the straight between i'm standing the line dividing the realm of the spirit and the physical realm that's where i am i'm choosing to go or to stay but i'll stay because it's profitable for you can you imagine a man like that john his mind was so alive they threw him in boiling pot and nothing happened but today when they shoot you you will die at once Let me finish up so we'll pray so what then is your assignment what's your challenge write these two scriptures philippians 2 12 and philippians 2 5 that's your assignment let this mind be in you permit this mind 2 verse 5 let this mind koinonia god wants to find expression in zaria god wants to find expression in your family give him space don't limit the mighty one he is mighty but limited mighty but limited mighty but limited through you what is your challenge write it that means your assignment and your task to work out that salvation to contend for transformation and alignment so as to grant more space and more access to God to find expression through you in the earth. That's your singular challenge. That's your singular task. Content for transformation. Give God space through your life. My goal in life is that heaven will find so much expression through me. That there will be more outworkings of the kingdom unconsciously than consciously. I look forward to a time when there will be accidents and I will just come and God will say thank you. I've always wanted to raise them but I need an access point. Joshua Selman be there. Hey. See, the Bible says you shall lay hands on the sick. It didn't say you shall say be healed. Just take me near that person and he will be healed. God wants to go to your home but he wants to travel through you. transformation the hallmark of transformation is oneness with god unity the hallmark of transformation is where your mind literally becomes the mind of christ your mind becomes a full expression becomes a mindset that totally agrees with the word of god are you willing to give up that culture to take up the mind of christ are you willing to give up the past to take up the mind of Christ? Give him space. Give him space. Very quickly before we pray, the process of transformation. What is the dynamics? So how are you changed? What's, what's, what does it entail to move from the earthly to the heavenly? Number one, the first key to transformation is a life of prayer. 
the first key that translates you from the earthly to the heavenly. Praying in the spirit. When you pray in the spirit, that transformation is happening. Whether you know it or not. That's why I encourage as many of you whose prayer lives are weak. Join the prayer department for one month. So that you can have a platform to fire up your prayer life. Pray in the night. Pray in the day. Separate days for prayers. Prayer in the spirit is one of God's technology for changing a man from being earthly to being heavenly. It's one of the systems through which he enlarges you and creates more space for himself. Prayer is like molting. The way reptiles, snakes, molt. You, see, you know what happens when they want to expand, right? They come out of their current shell. It's a difficult process. It's a sacrifice because snakes don't have hands and they have to crawl through and when they come out you now see the cocoon and the snake is big before it now crystallizes that's how you grow so while you are praying investments of prayer one hour two hours three hours sometimes you just dedicate the time morning till night worship and you just pray with fastings of course periodically not every time and something is happening to you all of a sudden you find out that heaven can find expression more you wouldn't know until you go for one meeting and while you are standing you are seeing people shouting everywhere and you are seeing the power of God moving and you are surprised what has happened to me space 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 you've given him space prayer is principally a channel for encounter illumination and empowerment not just petition petition is the last aspect of prayer the primary purpose of prayer is for encounters for illumination first corinthians let me give you a few scriptures quickly first corinthians chapter 14 i won't explain just write it chapter 2 verse 4 the bible says he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but to god right he speaks mysteries and then verse 4 of 1st Corinthians 14 says he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies builds up enlarges his spiritual capacity number 2 Romans chapter 8 from verse 26 and 27 the Bible says for we know not what to pray for as we ought to it says but the spirit he makes intercession for us he searches the mind of God right he brings an intermingling it's like a salt covenant he says let us reason together it happens in the place of prayer romans 8 26 and 27 and then jeremiah 33 verse 3 prayer grants you access to light and illumination call on to me and i will answer and show the great and mighty things not small and meager things great and mighty things let me tell you look at me there is no amount of bible study that will substitute for prayer do you know why many people are not really getting revelation because what we are doing is study alone and not prayer you can study but it is prayer that will break that scripture like a shell and release the life to you make no mistakes about it you can sit down study forever get up and carry the letter that kills go and teach and not bless people but true illumination is in the place of prayer and when you add prayer with fasting it's like a time bomb he said then shall your light break forth like the morning and your health shall spring speedily is this not the fast that i've commanded that means there is a type you can do on your own hunger strike right religious fast but there is a type I have commanded. And if you do that, your light will break forth like the morning. And your health will come speedily. James chapter 5 verse 16. The fervent, not joking and trivial prayer. The fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. Amplified says, 
is dynamic in its working. So when you pray, when you pray in the spirit, you are enlarging your capacity. You see why we pray. You see why we believe in the ministry of prayer. It's not the works of the Lord to pray and fast. We are not trying to add to what Jesus has done. We are opening up to receive all that he has brought. Number two. The second process of transformation happens through insight and revelation from the word. So here we have the ministry of prayer. And then insight and revelation from the word. Notice I didn't just say the word of God. It's for a reason. Because if I say the word of God, many of us have been reading Bible. But the insight and the revelation, the illumination you get from the word of God. And then in addition to that, our obedience to the word of God is what releases the power of what we believe to produce results for us. Listen, listen. The word of God is like a bag that carries treasures. Your obedience to the principles of the word opens up the bags and releases the treasure inside. You know how granite is? It's in a shell. That's principally how the word of God is. When you act, your obedience releases what is inside so that it will work for you. So it's not enough to just get insight and revelation. You must be willing to obey to the latter. I wrote something here that is interesting. Revelation without the willingness to obey is a demonstration of rebellion. Revelation. When you have revelation, insight in the Bible, and you do not have the willingness to obey it, you have clearly demonstrated your rebellion. A few scriptures. Mm. Proverbs 24 verse 30. Let's look at it very quickly. We'll look at three scriptures. Proverbs 24 verse 30. And then Acts chapter 8, 29 to 30. Proverbs 24 verse 30. Hallelujah. It says. 24 verse what? 30. I think I may have made a mistake. Okay, let's go to Acts 8 verse 29 to 30. While I look that up. Acts 8. It was the story. The story of the utopian Enoch. Watch this. That guy could not experience God in his life because he was void of knowledge and understanding. And when the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join yourself to the chariot 30. And Philip ran Peter to him and had him read prophet Isaiah and said what? Understandest what thou readest? Not just that you are reading it. Do you understand? It's not enough to just know scriptures and cram scriptures. Do you understand? Understanding, illumination, insight. Job chapter 22 verse 22 very powerfully job 22 22 receive i pray thee the law from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart receive it don't just read it receive it let light enter you the entrance of thy word give it light there is an enlargement he said write prosperously because of truth The last scripture john chapter 1 verse 12 this is the one that blew my mind the bible says as many as received him who is the him the word but as many not everybody will receive the word many will read the word many will admire the word but very few will receive it he said but as many as received that word that word gives them power to become power to become Power to become when you receive the word it gives you power to become what it says not when you read it when you receive it and diligently obey the principles it transforms you to become so the word about titan guarantees your financial future when you receive it you receive it by acting upon it 
and satisfying the conditions that release the anointing that backs it then it begins to change you from the earthly to the heavenly number three the last thing to do in the process of transformation is worship a life of intense worship intense worship Bible says do not be drunk with wine wearing in excess he said but be filled with the Holy Ghost speaking to yourself in Psalms hymns spiritual songs and making melody in your heart to the Lord let me tell you something about worship I've studied it very well worship brings the manifest presence of God to your life and your territory worship is a magnet there are three levels of God's presence there is his omnipresence his ability to be everywhere at the same time there is what I call his Emmanuel dimension that when two people are gathered in a place he's there in their midst God with us but there is his Shekinah his manifested presence that dimension is invoked in worship second chronicles chapter 5 verse 12 to 14 let's hurry up second chronicles 5 12 to 14 second chronicles 5 it says and also the levites which were singers all of them of asaph of Haman, of Jedutun, with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and pastries and psalms, stood at the east end of the altar, and with them a hundred and twenty priests, worshipping and sounding trumpets. Next verse. And it came to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord, and they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and the cymbals and the instruments of music and praise the Lord saying for the Lord is good for his mercy endured forever that what happened the house was filled with a cloud even the house of the Lord next verse the Shekinah of God came and rested there so that the priests could not minister by reason of the cloud except for the glory of the Lord had filled the house when you maintain a life of intense worship the glory of God comes your body begins to shake a literal vibration at his presence and you are lying down there soaking in that presence for hours see this is how to walk powerful in the anointing and the glory of God that the cloud the glory of the Lord let me tell you when the glory of the Lord rests upon your life you won't even be able to stand up that Shekinah sicknesses will melt away infirmities will go away the majestic voice of God will come through the cloud and speak to you maintain a life of worship put worship songs in your phones remove all those ungodly songs that keep making your mindset a doorway for demonic activities Come and meet the worship team. Let them do a selection of soaking worship songs for you. Just lie down in your room. You may be sleeping normally, but let the songs just play. Sometimes they may just be hymns like this or songs playing. No words to them. And you are just soaking. And after a while, the Shekinah of God, like a hand resting upon eggs. Remember what I said about the hand. A hand will rest upon an egg and turn that liquid substance to a cheek how much more the glory of God when it rests upon you hallelujah Acts chapter 16 verse 25 the Bible tells us that Paul and Silas were locked up in the prison and the Bible says they prayed and they sang they sang praises to God and the prisoners had them he had them oh my god that's why we worship a lot in koinonia it's the secret of the presence it's a secret look at every man that walks in the anointing every man that walks in the miraculous benny hin will worship for hours dr paul and would worship for hours men who know god men who carry the anointing catherine kuhlman all these great people they would sing hymns and worship for hours 
and when the presence rests wheelchairs will be lifted just by themselves your job is to get God to the scene and step out our worship team all of them have been trained to understand the assignment of koinonia worship team is not to entertain koinonia the very assignment of koinonia worship team is to create the atmosphere where the presence of god finds expression that's why sometimes they can come and just raise one popular song and just create the atmosphere you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah sing it one more time you are good you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Yeah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Let's sing it one more time. You are good. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. try to listen to my message and voice of his presence is the foundation for this we're going to pray we're out of time rise up on your feet just two prayer points but i want you to pray with all your heart i like you to pray and ask the lord and say lord bring me to that place where the mind of christ experientially becomes my mind I'm willing to give you space go ahead and pray I'm willing to give the God of miracles space the God of breakthroughs the God of signs and wonders the God of impartations the God of salvation and revival Pray, man of God. Pray, woman of God. Pray, businessman. Give God space. Hallelujah. Pay yourselves into two, please. You are going to pray. I like you to intercede intensely for your neighbor Lord let heaven invade his life pray let heaven invade his mindset let heaven invade his ministry let heaven invade his business let heaven invade his marriage outside make sure you are praying outside make sure you are praying Heaven, heaven, invade our minds, invade our souls, invade our souls, invade our bodies. Let the fullness of the capacity the fullness of the possibilities in God find expression hallelujah
Hallelujah. Look up. You're going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, in any way I have misrepresented you by refusing to give you space. I make up my mind that I will contend for transformation. That healing anointing must come out in my life after the order of Benny Hinn, after the order of Catherine Kuman. That prophetic mantle must find expression. I refuse to be a weak Christian. I refuse to be a weak man of God. That apostolic anointing will find expression after the order of Paul, after the order of Smith Wigglesworth, after the order of St. Patrick. My territory will experience revival, revival, fire, 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 revival, fire, healing, fire. No playing games, no playing games with destiny, no playing games. Shake it, 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 it. The sick must be healed through my life. The oppressed must be delivered. Sinners must be saved. Sinners must be saved. The church must be equipped through my life. I give you space. My family must receive breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but just permit me to raise one more prayer point. Look at me. Look at me. There are two limitations to your being transformed. The first, the gates of hell. The solution to that is have an understanding of your authority and exercise it. The second is the limitation that your mind gives you. The solution content for transformation in prayer and in the word we are going to pray there are forces that have vowed that you will never rise up to give God that level of space there are all kinds of forces but I like you to exercise dominion over yourself and your loved ones you love them some of them don't know what you know lift your voice and cry in the next three minutes Please permit me to raise one more prayer point. I know we're out of time, but this is burning in my spirit. Look up. Hallelujah. God is doing things. Fire is burning in this place. Listen. Bishop Oyedeko said there was a time the church in Kaduna was not growing. Nothing was happening. They had the heart. They had the mandate. But they were spiritual walls. And they were fasting together with the pastors. Lord, what is it? And the Lord told him, come out. And he came out. And he said, look. And he looked upon the church and he saw a dark cloud. He said, this is the cloud that is misinterpreting your ministry. There are people who are genuine. But the perception of others about you and your ministry is either that you are fake or you are controversial there are spirits that make it so 
so people will not come to receive so people will not come to be blessed there are some of you the helpers of your destiny have been manipulated whenever they want to come to your life something drives them who am i speaking to lift your voice like a priest and challenge gates challenge gates Lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. Forces of ancestry. Forces of darkness. Lift up your heads. Forces of delay. Lift up your head. Forces of stagnation. Lift up your head. Forces of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Pray, begin to command, decree, command, decree, command, release my marriage, release my job, release my academics, release my destiny, release my ministry. My mantle, release my anointing, release my destiny, help us, release my unction. Shokote, Skata, Mapate, Go Protokete, Ekata, Tata, 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 Set fire, fire on altars of darkness. We set fire on ghosts. We set fire on devils. We command by the fire of the word, by the fire of the blood, by the fire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how you rescue your ministry. That's how you rescue your marriage. That's how those chains will be caught. They won't be caught by joking and playing games. Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. When you confront the gates, then they will open. When you confront the gates that are killing your ministry, then it will open. When you confront the gates stopping your marriage, then it will open. You confront the gates killing your academics, then it will open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to stop. We're out of time. Listen. I want you to take this revelation. God is not limited. We have limited him. And the spirit cries. The spirit cries. If any man will give me space. He said go and borrow vessels. The problem is not the oil. But the container carrying it. If you enlarge the container. The oil will increase. Shut up. Hallelujah. I pray for a restoration. Of every dead prayer life. Every spiritual lukewarmness. That has authorized Satan. To make a chicken out of your life. I empower you tonight. With strength from above. In the name of Jesus. Every zeal. And fire for God. That has died for whatever reason. May it jump back to life today. Hallelujah. Now quickly keep standing everybody. Our time is fast spent. But there are people inside and outside the Lord brought you. And you know that you have not made your ways right with the Lord. You love God. But you know you are tired. You are saying man of God I'm tired of the way my life is. 
and I'm crying for help you've never given your heart to the Lord or you gave your life to Christ but for some reasons you found yourself moving in one way or the other please make your way inside and outside we have one minute for this I like you to rush out and come before God come this is a place of empowerment welcome home don't be ashamed don't wait for anybody I know there are many people outside make your way inside run to Jesus the place of empowerment the encounter that will change your story please take God seriously tonight don't play games with your destiny Jesus wants to invade your life hallelujah keep coming for those who are here listen I salute you and I congratulate you there is no room for lukewarmness in this Christian race and let me tell you no matter where you are don't feel guilty you can take off from there God is willing to reach down to you and start with you everybody started from somewhere therefore I want you to lift your right hand please you are not reciting a point I want this to be from the depth of your heart say after me Lord Jesus Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.